Okay, welcome back. So now, this is this is my my blog, and I would like your blog to be as interesting as this. So you could you have a, a headline, and you have a really nice looking banner, and then you have um, your articles. Okay. Now there's some some really good. Um, There's some really really good videos or blogs that you can actually look at the example. Um, I'm just going to show you very briefly one blog that is uh, really nice to look at, clean and quite interesting actually. Yeah, that's it. So this blog is very interesting because you see it's really clean yeah and uh, identity wise everything is very very nicely done it's a it's a blog spot um, blog engine it acts as a website as well so you have your profile okay and you have your articles and you notice the standard the standard kind of post here you have to choose the right theme because every theme have different standard uh, posting format. Like this one, it's got a picture and it's got a headline and then you have a body text. Picture, headline, body text. So you make sure that you have everything organized as such. So it's choosing the right theme is very, very important. And this is really such a good blog. You have video of the day. And, and etc. Now, speaking of which, if you're going to open the Blogspot, um, you can you have to use either Blogspot or WordPress. Either one of these. Okay. Now, if you're going to use a Blogspot, then you got to open the YouTube channel. Now, if you want to open a YouTube channel, it's really really easy. Now, the reason why you open the YouTube channel is because in future it'll be really really useful. <clears throat> okay. So if you open a YouTube channel, if you go to your channel, I would like you to to have a real this is how a YouTube channel looks like and I really want you to have a really nice banner and and a picture, a profile picture. This is very important for identification. Now when you open the blog and the YouTube channel as well. The YouTube channel, you must have your Classcraft, uh, your Classcraft um, tribe logos. Okay, if you have your tribe logos here, I can identify your Classcraft team. Try to integrate your logos in a nice way on your banners, from your at your blog, and in your YouTube channel. Now, once you have some videos on YouTube, you can actually link it to your to the to the blog, and I will be able to understand it. A lot easier so and eventually you're going to be really really pleased to watch I'm sorry to produce videos uh, during your degree all right I hope you understand this um, this video I'm uploading this on YouTube but I'm giving you the link and hope you understand the requirements thus far and if you don't understand still uh, feel free to message me and I'll be more than glad to help any way I can. And uh, do pay a visit to my channel. There are some old videos that I've made uh, for uh, their reaction videos uh, on um, the previous last semester's work and etc. So feel free to visit and, and uh, just browse through it. So, do you, I think that's what I said in class, and that's about it. For those who have not uh, managed to catch up or didn't actually show up in class the other day, so feel free to, to um, do this. Yes, <laughs> the one last thing before I end. 
I think uh, I need to talk to you about the catapult thing. Uh -huh. I think some of you are actually working on that catapult thing. And... Um, yeah. Let me just move this up. <clears throat> move this to the to the top. Yeah, so you can see my sketches. Now, <coughs> <coughs> right. So we talked about the the catapult. So the distance. Um, you can see this is the initial sketch um, about how far the tennis balls will be propelled up into the air and what you can do, what, what we should think, we'll seriously think about is this but it's going to be done in the futsal complex, the futsal sports area in the Taylor sports complex so um, here there is the distance. We're going to arrange uh, a wall of boxes. In fact, we're already collecting boxes. Um, we're going to arrange a wall of boxes. They could be like color coded, right? This could be like six feet, right? From here to here, okay? But six feet. Then from here, the catapult. Right. Can I pause over here? Now, if the catapult move, the projectile have to fly. Okay. There's a fly and knocked. To that wall. Now it has it has to knock that wall. And once a box that's uh, numbered or color coded falls down, then you could this you could um, decode the box uh, and to find out how many points you have earned, you know. So I think this is a really really good um, <laughs> good opportunity. Now you're going to be competing with others. And as you're competing, you're going to be competing at five at a time. Now the distance between the distance between um, here and here, okay, is about ten meters. Right, so that's that's about ten meters. So we will arrange the walls and we start, you know, catapulting. The the catch is this: you guys need to um start working and constructing your catapult so you know exactly where the weaknesses are. But remember, you've got to still zigzag. You may have constructed a catapult, but I want to see I want to see evidence of how did you arrive to that catapult design. Because chances are all the catapult designs are different. You're not supposed to copy any catapult design online. You can shoot, see you can see some free schematics and try to construct it, but I don't want it to be exactly the same as that. But you must show evidence of where you found that original design, and that's it. But I want to see modifications, okay? I want to see you modifying it because you want it to be better. But you've got to ask yourself, what is it about a catapult that makes it really, really good? So, um, did it really project the projectile really fast? So that's the question you're going to ask yourself. So, I think, um, I think that's about it. And I'll be seeing you again this coming Wednesday. And we're going to do another simulation. And uh, and I'm really glad about the outcome of the last simulation. It was pretty interesting to see how you interpret the problem statement. Hmm. Some of you actually used the problem statement and you interpreted it, and you found um, you you sort of like you could improvise and that's really really good okay so that's it I conclude my briefing and uh, have a good night and have a good rest I'll see you very soon but stay tuned 
stay tuned and check uh, I think on FB or FB message board or the, the, the uh, let's say the group page and of course that's about it <laughs> okay I can't ask you any questions because you you are watching this right now so if you have any questions just message me so until then have a good night and remember it's not always here it's always here too right take care and good night bye bye